uh, remember they are telling us to determine the values of A and B, but they have given a condition here that B must be less or equal to, to 5. So to determine the value of B, we will need to integrate these two expressions and equate them to 1. The probabilities of the sum of the functions should be maximum 1. And uh, since we already have the constant which actually appears to be this one, uh, we will integrate. So we say to find B, to find B, we shall integrate with respect to the limits now that we know, 0 to, to 2 and then um, 2 to B. So if we integrate, um, the first case is 2, uh, two out of 13 uh, into our x plus 1. We are integrating it from 0 now to 2 plus the integral of 2 to, to B of uh, the function which is 2 out of 13 into 5 minus x. Um, don't forget the integrand. The x should be equivalent to 1. Uh, quickly, if I pull out the constant, my 2 out of 13, I'll have x squared over 2. I'm integrating plus x, and my limits are 0 and 2, plus 2 out of 13 in the second case. If I integrate 5 minus x, I'll have 5x minus x squared over 2, and the limits are 2 and b, and this should be equal to 1. Our task is now to substitute in these limits and proceed to look for the value of b. Quickly, if we substitute in, this being a 0, we start with a 2. 2 squared will give me 4, out of 2 will give me 2, plus 2. So I'll have 2 over 13 into, uh, our, in order not to skip a step, I can write this out of this, plus 2. But I'll take away 0. When we fit in 0, we shall get 0 here. That is the first term, and is all subjected to that. Then in the second case, we have again our 2 out of 13, uh, if I fit in my b, I have 5b minus b squared, 5b minus b squared, this b squared is over 2, uh, it is in one bracket, um, I will uh, take away uh, from this bracket, I will take away, this is part of that bracket, I will take it away, when I fit in the 2, I will have 10, um, open bracket here, minus, this will still give me uh, 2 squared out of 2. And uh, uh, this is equated to 1. Now, quickly, my 2 out of 13, I expect this now to fit in here. This would be 4 out of 2, which is 2 plus 2, which is 4. So my first bracket will give me that. Then I am adding on. Because when we take away 0, it stays that. I am adding on my 2 out of 13 for the second bracket. And I have this, which I'm going to make 10. I'm going to make it 10b minus b squared. This is over 2. And uh, I am taking away, uh, this is again 2. This is 4 out of 2, which is... 2 minus 10, that would be 8. So I'll take away 8 from here. And uh, this is all equal to 1. Uh, the space is uh, a bit small, but I'm sure you are able to see. Now, if we simplify this, uh, this gives me 2 out of 13. I'm now picking it as a common term. Into 4, this 4, Plus, I'm merging it into 1. This 2 out of 13 is already out for the second bracket. I have 10b minus b squared minus 16. I've taken a common LCM of 2 here. 
So I have a 2 here. And uh, the whole of this is still equal to 1. If you simplify this, uh, this is going to be negative 6. Uh, in here, this is going to be 8. So I'll have 2 out of 13 into 8. 8 minus 6. Uh, when I take 2 as a common LCM here, I'm taking 2 as a common LCM. I have 8 here. 10 minus 16 is 6. Negative. This is the 6. Then minus b squared. Oh, there was a b here. There was a b. We should not forget it. So this uh, stays there. So array. So 8 plus 10b plus 10b minus uh, b squared minus 16. I'm going to take this here. So I have 2 out of 13 into, and now I will have 10b minus b squared minus 8 minus 16 is minus 8. But this is still over 2, so that 2 will cancel. Remember we have a 1 there. And finally, we have a quadratic equation which we can say that 10b minus b squared minus 8 minus uh, is equal to 13 when we cross my prime. So our, um, if I take everything there, uh, b squared minus 10b uh, plus 21 is equal to 0. The factors here are factors of 21, 7 and 3. I am not going to substitute and solve. I'll say since the factors are all negative, I'll say the values of B by uh, solving, values of B will be uh, 3 and 7. But they say that B must be less than 5. So uh, we get B as 3 and B as 7. We'll discard this one since we have a condition that B is less or equal to 5 and therefore we conclude that our value for b is 3 uh, and therefore our values for a and b with a general conclusion you can say hence a will be equal to 2 and uh, b will be equal to 3 hence a will be equal to 2 and b will be equal to 3 uh, on condition that we recall the the condition of B less or equal to 5. Yeah, you're expected in an exam to be able to show how you arrive at this, which I assume that any of the candidates following this lesson can solve very well. Um, at this stage, I'll give you a number which you will try out after the lesson. And then we proceed to another area. I'll give you a number which I expect you to try out after the lesson uh, to test yourself about this. I'll write the function here. I was waiting for the first group to finish this one, which I assume they are finished capturing. So I'll put the function at the end. Part one, they are saying find values of A and B. Part two, they're asking you to calculate the mean. Calculate the mean and variance. And 
part three, they are asking you to calculate the probability of P x less than three given, given that x is greater than 1.5. And lastly, they are asking you also to calculate the variance of negative 4x minus 7. The easiest way for you to capture a question, uh, even sometimes towards the end of the lesson, we still have some good time, but sometimes towards the end of the lesson, the easiest way for you to capture a question is to take a photograph, and uh, there you can proceed with the teacher and uh, uh, be able to capture or to copy the question later. So I am putting for you another number to try out. And uh, I, will, I will insist that um, you do these numbers after the lesson because we now have the information that allows you to be able to do them. Sorry, I had not put the function here. The function for this number is the function for this number that I'm giving you is. is f of x f of x is um, a quarter x a less than x less than b and then a quarter into 4 minus x with again b less than uh, okay, this is 0 and A. Then this is A less than X less than B. Uh, I want to assume that you have all finished capturing this so that the question parts should be visible. Zero elsewhere must always be a must. And note, there should be a separation or is between the function and the limit. The, last, the upper limit of the first function is the same as the first limit of the second function. And I wanted uh, to put the second number. The function is f of x is given by a third x minus 2 over 3 and then alpha and then alpha is a function of its own and then 2 minus beta x. And the limits are 2 less than x, less than 3, and then 3 less than x, less than 5, and then 5 less than x, and less than 6. Uh, the zero area square you will fit it there for that number two. Zero area square should be there. And we are saying find. These are all exercise questions. Find one, the values of alpha and beta. Two. 
the expectation of x three the variance of x and uh, we are also telling it find the probability for the probability that 2.5 is less than x less than uh, 5. Those two numbers you will do after the lesson. In our previous lesson, we looked at how to sketch. We looked at how to sketch uh, a PDF given the PDF function itself. Now we want to briefly, using one example, look at how we can get the PDF from a sketch. How we can get the PDF from a sketch. I will quickly take you to the coordinate geometry mathematics uh, and uh, uh, we will recall that to find the equation of a line to find the equation of a line uh, passing through known points we can use uh, 3 2 and 7 7 for example if you are finding a line passing through these points Usually, we consider this line to also pass through another unknown point, which we call x, y. And uh, if I'm to draw this line, and I say my 3, 2 is here, my 7, 7 is here, I can choose to put my p, which is x, y, over there. The gradient along these points, the gradient which we normally say is 7 minus uh, 2 over 7 minus 3 should also be the same gradient if we considered one of these points uh, between y minus 2 over x minus 3, for example. This will give me 5 out of 4. And this would be equal to y minus 2 out of x minus 3. If we rearrange uh, 3 into, um, if we rearrange 5 into x minus 3, will be equal to 4 into y minus 2. And this would imply that 5x minus 15 would be equal to 4y minus 8, implying that 5x minus 4y would actually be equal to um, to 7 would be the equation of a line. Would be the equation of a line. So building on that information, I hope uh, that you are done with the copying of these exercise questions. Building on this information, for us to find the function where we are considering y, we shall put the function. For the function, for the PDF function, we have coordinates in the form of, say, x, f of x, or y, f of y, and uh, the parameters that are normally used are the most common as the, uh, those three parameters, x, y, and t. And therefore, um, it implies that the function, the PDF function, 
will depend on the, var uh, the variable that we'll be using in the question. And we shall look at our first example now. Remember, we have a sketched curve now that we are going to use, and we are supposed to use that sketched curve to obtain a function. And we are going to build on, on this knowledge that we shall identify the points uh, of the curve and then um, get the curve. A continuous random variable x has a sketch, has a PDF, f of x, as shown, as shown in the sketch, in the sketch. And the sketch is right over here. This is f of x, and this is x. In our sketch, we have 0 here, and we have a straight line, and we have another straight line here. And uh, when we come here, the topmost value corresponds to, to 2k. It corresponds to 2k. Uh, this is 2 lambda. We can use lambda. We can use k. And then we have a 2 here. And then there we have a 5. Yes. So our task, remember we said that if we have a line, we join it with a, a ruler, and if we have a curve, we join it with a straight line. Our task is to be able to find a function for this line, I'll call it line 1, and the function for this line, let me call it line 2. So from line 1, the coordinates at the origin Line 1, which will give us the function for, for the, the first one. Uh, we have 0, 0. And then we have here 2 and 2 lambda. I'm picking the coordinates. And then we shall consider x and f of x as another point that would probably be beyond there. So using our gradient approach, I can say the 2 lambda minus 0 over uh, 2 minus 0 should be equal to my f of x, which we are actually looking for, minus 0, I'm making this an intersection point, over x minus 0. So I will get my lambda. I hope you see how I get lambda. The two will cancel. The 0 is 0. Uh, being equal to my f of x over x, and therefore my function for my first line will be lambda x. I'll repeat the same for this other line. I'll repeat the same for this other line. And uh, of course, the range for this one is 0 less than x less than now 2 lambda, which is 2. We can keep it as 2 lambda. No, it, it is 2. The range is here to here. Now. For line 2, for line 2, to get the function, I will start with this coordinate. The coordinates here are 2 and 2 lambda. Then I have 5 and 0. And I will consider also x and f of x. And uh, if I get the gradient, I will use uh, 0 minus 2 lambda over 5 minus 2 should be equal to f of x minus 2 lambda over x minus 2. I'm using all the points. My gradient here will be minus 2 lambda over 3. And um, this will be equivalent to f of x minus 2 lambda over x minus 2. We rearrange to find our f of x. And when we rearrange that, 
Now, when we rearrange that summarily, we should be able to find that my two lambda times x minus 2 will give me um, my 3 into f of x minus lambda, minus 2 lambda. So if I correct like terms, my 2 lambda x plus 2 will be equal to 3 f of x minus 6 lambda. I want to make f of x the subject, and therefore I leave it here. My 3 f of x will give me uh, my, uh, this will give me my lambda, a 6 lambda, plus minus 2 lambda, x plus 2. So our f of x will be equal to, if I divide through by 3, will be equal to um, uh, 2 lambda minus, um, this will be 2 out of 3 into 1 plus lambda x. I used uh, this for the gradient, and I shared that one. I should have shared um, this one for, for ease of the work. Let me share this, that my f of x will be minus 0, and then uh, my x will be minus 5. Let me share that. If I share that, it makes it much easier. 0, 5. Let me share that, so that it is much simpler and uh, direct. So minus 2 lambda into x minus 5, I adjust here, and this is 0, will give me minus 2 lambda x plus 10. Lambda will be 3f of x. So the f of x will now be equal to the 2 lambda. The lambda can come out out of 3 into 10 uh, minus 2x. Yeah, this would be the function. And the range will be, uh, I can pull out these two and make this uh, 5 and put here 2. So this has a range of 2 to 5, 2 less than x, less than 5. And therefore, I can conclude and say that my function from here is the first f of x is lambda x. I have lambda x, um, 0 to 2, to x to 2. And I have um, 2 lambda over 3. 5 minus x, and the range is 2 to x to 5. And I have 0 elsewhere. Do not forget the 0 elsewhere. This is our final function. That gives us our final function there, which we have obtained uh, using the graph. So basically, we are using equation of a straight line. Uh, but, of course, with that moderation of advanced, an advanced student, that our f of x becomes that expression. Um, I can give you another one number to try out. I can give you another one number to try out. If we want to find out the value of lambda, it is also possible. Because they told you to find a function, you can find the value of lambda using the other approach for the constant. Um, here, we can note just quickly that uh, the area, which is a half base height, should be equal to 1. So a half times the base, which is uh, 5, times the height, which is 2k, should be equal to 1. And this implies that our k would be 5. So if you want 
to replace the lambda um, with a K, it will be fitted there. If you want, you would get it like this, and then I ask you to find the value of K. Uh, find the value of K, find the expectation, and generate the other questions that follow. I will put um, one number here for you to try out later that is related to this one. I want to assume that you are almost done. Let me remove this K and put a trial number here. Um, like I said, for numbers that are put towards the end of the lesson, um, you must take a picture if you cannot copy it as fast as necessary. Yeah, given a sketch of this nature, we have a negative 2 here, and then we have a point starting over there. Somewhere over there. Normally this has a corresponding point here, which is now K, and then... This is constant over a, a specified time range. Then it comes and um, it is starting somewhere there. This is a 6. Remember this is x. And then here it drops to 1 and 2. And then here we have the 0. This is the, the 0 axis, the starting point. This is our F. Let us use T. Um, so they wanted to find the value of, at this point, we have this as a, uh, this, let it start up here. This is 2K, but this corresponds to K. So they want you to find, find the value of K. Find the value of K, find the PDF, and uh, find the probability that T is greater than or equal to zero. Yes, our lesson is moving towards the end. Our time is fast spent, as you're aware. Now, in um, our conclusive remarks, I want to remind you that this point here is 5, 5K, and this is FT. The function is T, this is T. We have the first value here is corresponding to 2K, the upper value is corresponding to 5K, this is corresponding to 1K. This is negative 2, 0, 1, 2, Six. We want you to find the function, find the value of k, and find the probability that t is greater or equal to zero. Uh, my dear students, like I told you, a successful student should be able to continuously work through as many numbers as possible. And um, of course, should be able continuously consult. Last lesson I left you with numbers, uh, the lambda, the constant was supposed to be a third, the expectation was supposed to be two, just for those who tried out, and um, it was asking you for those numbers. Uh, again, they can ask you for a mod. We have been talking about the mod. In our next lesson, we shall look at the mod, 
how to find the mode, how to find the median, and finally, we will be able to look at um, how to sketch the cumulative frequency graph. I want to thank you for attending the lesson and remind you that successful students don't do different exams. They do exams differently. Thank you very much. Um, enjoy the rest of the week with the other teachers. God bless you. Yanze gebo tio tutambudu na kuruwa lero e, Nesumira mudiro lio Wetio uh, wetambude Okuvira dela wali kuntani kwa watu watani kide Banafa ba Maryland High School Wali entebe botu wade tutambula uh, Green Hero Academy Kwa teka Kids Kingdom Deke and Chindagaten uh, Gombe Education Services uh, Big Pen Kwa teka ni banafa ba mkumba University Mwena mwena baba deko uh, Wasumisa uh, kwa teka naba yizi Na wamuna naba zade mwena uh, Janani Schools wali e, kabala gala uh, tina wali mbetundu hivye bombo kalule uh, Mwebali nye mwebali ledala uh, Wade ba gobele la ensonga zino Na hawa sumesa kuteka na waiza wama sumero Amla lago na uh, genja ulo Royal Giant High School wawe mitia na wa obi Ne wa oge mwena mwena uh, Mwebali kubanga mwgobele la ensonga zifana Na kwa wezi tina waiza wali yo mtisera chino Kusumereri mwebali nyo Kale tutambude wetu chuo na kuhuru wale ero Tujia kubanga tukuma unesumera mdiro liyo Na te una kuhuru wencha sawa satu Aba primary sawa nya aba olevo Ate sawa muenda babira wa elevo Mungere nja ulo njaga la kubanga ate mkujukiza Nti nja ulo kutegiza Nti una kuhuru wale ero kwa sawa bili Tupade tuli ndira okogira kwa mkulembezi wa guanga Okutubu ulira chechi dako Oluvanyi malu wa mogalo Okubira nti bugu wako luna kuhuru wencha Uguna kwa kumine nyeza yongiru wamu Na yoku sinza kuma ulire getufunye Okuogira kuna kuongeze duwayo Okutu usiza daratu unako uruencha Isawa zisiga deze zimu Na yenga unako uruwale rote kugenda kubayo Kugenda kubayo unako uruencha Uruoku ino uruecho Fewe tulitu jakuwa natu kutusa kwa kuogira kuna unako uruencha Tumanye ate cheche dako Uruvanyimalu ina kukuminanya Okubayo nanti ate ziwe deko Tuwade tumusubiro mkulembizu okuogira lero Na ye okuogira kuna unako uruencha Isawa bili Kale kankusibu lida wana tugena mprogram Roundabout ni Jackstar wali tugene mprogramu ate uh, tuchachianche kusawa kuminemu ni Florence Nampija tulu alvanyuma tugende uh, bikuku juu uh, seko buseko wali kusawa kuminabili tutuke sawe mu tugene mauli de gambu uze tuyengene programu za fenda la zona sawa saja kabaka awangare Somera mudiro lyo nge wagidua Maryland High School elisangi wentebe Somero lya bawala na balenzi Dusomesa arts and sciences okubire dela kusinye soka Okutukire dela kusinye yomukaga Ngali sangi ba muchifechi wewe poburunje Tuli ne bisule byo mulembe Science laboratory Sakoni computer lab Wamune She gives you her number But your pen didn't work And the bus is gone Get a pen you can rely on Big Crystal, the long-lasting pen with perfect ink flow. Wamune. Green Hill Academy has high standards of learning and the teachers are very good. They give you a sense of belonging. Green Hill has helped me to discover my talent. The environment is good. Encourage our children to be excellent. Wamune. Kids Kingdom Kindergarten and Daycare. So many of you are to. Oh, Musa, the red one, oh, Gendo, Kore, Bibio. Ebiyo, Kuzeni, Sabi, Abana, Yo, Namusi. Tumiri na. Atenga, Abana, We, Basa, Nila, Wagazi, Nyo. Jukira. Security, Enka. Ama, So many, Gunagari, Mchikomera. Aba, So many, Sabi, Tulina. Bakugu, Mubana. Abana, Tuvali, Sabi, Nyo, Munang. Tulina, Main, Campus, Ebu, Donna, Galavi. Ngawa, Kaisa, Junior.